All right, we're going to try to do something today about this threshold. So this is the resilient vinyl floor, and this is a Vicorel shower base. We have a little gap here with the OSB under it, and we want to do something to make this waterproof since this is in the attic. Four and three eighths. I'm going to use this piece of PVC cove molding. I'm going to start by making a nice flat end. This little saw is awesome. I think I got it at Home Depot. No, maybe Lowe's. 34. Clean it up with a little alcohol. Now I'm going to temporarily put the cove in place. Put some masking tape along the edges. I'm going to leave like an eighth of an inch gap between the cove and the tape. Nice, even, maybe a little more than an eighth. Seal that edge good. The same thing on the fiberglass. Put a little in the corners. So it should look like this. Now we're going to take the cove back up. There we go. And we're going to run some silicone along the edges. 100%. Just next to the tape. Actually, what I should have done first for some extra insurance is run a bunch on the edge of the tub here. Yeah. And we're going to put the cove back in place.
some stray cat hairs out of there. I'm going to put a couple of brads in here just for insurance so it doesn't move. We're going to come back and very carefully wipe the silicone out. Keeping a roll of toilet paper close by, if you can find any. Or paper towels or whatever. Keep it off the cove. Might have been a little generous with this. I was going to put a little in those nail holes. Now I'm going to come back with the toilet paper. Get that corner there. And Now, before it actually dries, we'll go ahead and pull the tape off. Careful not to touch anything with the tape. is it.